Hi, this is Daddy Was a Milkman, and you're watching Bobby Me. So, welcome back in Latvia. I think we can officially say that Latvia loves you, as you've been here many times. So, could you say that Latvia is a special place for you? Absolutely, absolutely. Like I said on stage, every time we come here, we leave with a pockets full of love and uh, it's mutual it, and uh, we can't wait to come back again and it's going to be Riga in a bit later. You know. And in autumn you're returning uh, to Riga with your second album Intimatas. Yeah. So tell us about the album, what's the story and what inspired you to write it? Well, it's, uh, I'm not sure if I can say it in a couple words but uh, what I can say that it's uh, it's very honest, it's very personal and it's it's uh, there's more variety to it than uh, the first the first album, and I'm very very proud of it. Uh, it's it's not shallow, it's not empty, it's it's full of uh, stories again, and, um, and and this one's gonna be a double album about the bright side and the and the, and the mood swings and the whole thing. So uh, we're gonna get the, the so to speak the dark side and the and the bright one. So that's why there are two CDs. One side is more electronic music. The other one is more like guitars and and the uh, and the good moods. So one of your recent songs is called "Let It Go." Yeah. So could you say that you're letting go something by writing music? Every time. I mean, uh, I believe everybody has a way to let things go. So my way is writing music, and I do a lot of things through the songs, and it's it's so nice when uh, some people uh, relate to the songs. You don't even know those people, but they know the emotions that you put into the song. So this is amazing, because so it means, uh, it just confirms that music brings people together, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you started with an intimate gigs, and now you're playing arenas. Uh, is it a dream come true? How does it feel? Well, it's not like we're playing arenas. There's uh, one arena coming up uh, in uh, Kaunas, in Lithuania. So that's the first time we're doing that, and uh, so far it's going really good. And we're, you know how it is. Two months left. There's all the preparation going on. It's uh, it's really kind of stressful up until the concert day, and uh, and then once you're on stage, then you relax. But before that, it's just a, like a nightmare, <laughs> but a good one in a good way. I mean. Recently, you had a collaboration with Ten Walls, and you released the song Hidden. How was the whole process and maybe there are some other collaborations coming up? Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, when you're, we're like in the process of finishing the, the album and this is probably, uh, every, every singer, every artist would tell that it's probably the worst time to look for collaborations. And Ten Walls, uh, we, did, uh, we did our uh, work like six months ago or so and then, uh, and then it uh, popped up. So. It was a lot of fun. It's different. Uh, he's a different kind of artist. He's, uh, he's, he lives in his own world, and uh, it's very nice to visit him there. So it was cool. And would you say that music can change the world? Uh, I can definitely say that it it can influence it, and if not the world, it can influence ev everybody. I mean, each and every one of us. And then, uh, so if you if you go from there. If, if you get influenced by music, okay, well, uh, it, it might, it might, it's like flip a switch in somebody's mind and he starts doing nicer things, right? Or, or he starts being nicer to some of his friends. Well, that's that's kind of like changing the world a little bit, right? So. Yeah, exactly, I agree. And lately, we ask artists one important question: If there will be one thing that you could change in the world, what would it be? I would, just, I would just like get rid of all the aggression, the wars, the interests, the going after all, all, like all, all the big international interests when they collide and people forget what it's all about. It's, it's, it's really, we live on the same planet, it's not like, okay, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's probably enough for everybody, the sea, the sand, then you get some music and then of course that's that's like a hippie way of saying things but in general it's still okay we're on the same boat right so it only makes sense if we get along so uh, that's probably the the one thing that worries me the most 
And uh, there are some things I don't really quite understand about the, the deeper politics and stuff, but to some point I don't even care. I don't want to know some things, but it's, it's not very uh, nice from a, from a person to say, but, but uh, sometimes it's nice to stay away from those things so you can clear your mind and uh, I don't know. I just wish so nobody had any big problems. That's my best, biggest wish. That's a good wish. So thank you and we will see you in Arena Riga this year and I think it will be awesome. Latvia loves you and you love Latvia and it will be great. Hey, we will bring, uh, that's why we're doing the arena because uh, we did two shows in uh, Palladium and to be honest for this one we cannot fit what we want to show and uh, I know there, there's no middle, there's no transition transition in between those two places, Arena and uh, and this one, so uh, it's not likely to be full at all, but I don't care because we're going to bring the best concert that Lithuanian band ever brought to Latvia. I promise that. That's a great promise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.